Azine card and today I'll be doing the recap for my gold series box opening. I know this recap is very late. I think it's like a week or two late by now, but just have been really busy. Uh, spring break and actually has already started and it's been a few days in. Just been taking that time to relax and catch up on stuff, but yeah, I figured I'd go ahead and finally do the video today. So here's a recap for everything I pulled from Premium Gold. So yeah, just to kind of give you guys an idea of maybe possibly something you can get. It seems like it's pretty random though, so yeah. Alright, so here's the stack, and let's go ahead and get started. So everything is, of course, in order. Gold Secrets first, so yeah. So for Junk Giants, we got one copy of that. Uh, hopefully the focus is pretty good. Uh, next we have Absolute King Backjack. Uh, Rose Lover, Rose Paladin, so quite a few one ups for Gold Secrets. Uh, we got Blackwing Chris. Got two of him, actually, which is pretty nice. He's actually pretty cool. Uh, Pinaki, I got one of him. Two of the ghost guy. Yeah, sorry about the glare, but yeah. Got two of that. Got one of this. One of, uh, or, yeah, one Tristan and two assaults. Pulled one Anki, which I can use in my deck. Uh, Blackwing was a tamer. Obsidian Hawk Joe's got one of him. One of the other Blackwing uh, was it's so hard to see the right through the camera. So we have no fun. Next we have three of the Drago Cytus Corrupted Nether Soul, which didn't really want three of, but I guess there's that, so yeah. Next, a card that everyone thought was gonna be amazing, but fortunately his price has tanked a lot. Uh Galaxy Eyes Dark Matter. Got one uh, two cat sharks. Two greedy Cerameas, number fourteen. Two number 21 Frozen Lady Justices. I actually pulled two Parallel Twisters, uh, one Stardust Respark, and one Santa Claus to round out the Gold Secrets. And on to Gold Rares. Got one of each of these Exodia limbs, just missing the left, or was it the right leg and the head. Uh, two Card Troopers, an alias, a um, Tyon, two Bujin Yamados. Uh, two Trap Tricks Mermelios, uh, one of the Nepenthes, and two of the Dioneas. On to Synchros, basically. Uh, Goyo Guardian pulled one. Uh, Evolvable Chain, which was very nice. Exceeds now, I guess. Uh, Modulatri Queen Tiramisu, and 101 Silent Honor, Silent Honor Arc. Got one of each of those. Got one Raigeki, pretty nice. Uh, Book of Moon, Advanced Ritual Art. Charge of the Light Brigade, Preparation of Rites, pulled two Pob Dualities, pretty sick card. Uh, one of each of the rank ups in the set, I think there's Barians, but honestly I didn't want to pull that either, but yeah, I got these two, which I think might be used. Got Chain Disappearance, one of, one of Solemn Warning, one Trap Tricks Trap Hole Nightmare, got one Crush card, which was pretty awesome, I wish I got more, but eh, it's limited, so got my one copy, there we go. Next we got one Veil of Darkness, one Elemental Hero Prisma, one Smashing Ground, I think yeah, one Doom Cow, one Gazarus, and then basically like the Gold Series 5 reprints, we got Blue Eyes White Dragon, no longer Ghost, uh, Gores, which also used to be Ghost, one or two Graffas, uh, one Beast and one Barthion. Formula Synchron, Dark Hole, and Starlight Road to round it off. So that was everything I pulled from my premium gold. Uh, if you guys wish to, go ahead and leave in the comments down below what you were able to pull out of yours. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video and hope it give you uh, gave you some form of an idea of what you might be able to pull yourself. Definitely a cool set to invest in. I think the prices have either are still pretty high or have maybe gone down a bit. But from the time when I purchased it, the prices really spiked. So yeah, so hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and Azing Card out.